Hey everyone, uh, Sean here, and welcome to another video. Uh, look, it definitely does look like I came off from another video, but anyway, um, just happens to be a lot of things going on with the things I'm interested in, and definitely one of them is Star Rail. Star Rail definitely had that the 4.8 uh, live stream that's coming up with uh, Yoon Lee as one of the characters um, for the banner. Which I do want to pull, by the way. And I think the story um, is looking pretty good. Like, the story quest or whatever for that the update lo is looking pretty good. We're, we're back in uh, Luofu once again, though. <laughs> um, kind of funny of how many times we go back to that place. But anyways, um, it, does, it, it at least definitely has a lot of cool characters coming up, including a Fei Xiao. I do want to pull for her as well. She is a gun girl, so I cannot resist that. So... Yunli and Fei Xiao are going to be um, definitely up there for me to pull, hopefully. Hopefully I get them. But the biggest one, and this one definitely came out of nowhere, is uh, Star Rail and Fate Stay Night collaboration. Specifically, Fate Stay Night, not Fate Stay Grand, or Fate Grand Order. Fate Stay Night, um, that was really cool. Like, uh... And I definitely did not think that would happen. There was some sort of collaboration also going on with Zenless Zone Zero and Street Fighter VI. Hopefully, um, we get more than just like a roundtable talk or whatever. Um, hopefully, like actual characters come out of it, or probably costumes. But um, they didn't really say anything like, "Oh, they'll have something else coming up later down the line." But when it comes to the uh, Fate Stay um, collaboration with Star Rail. That one has a slated date. Um, and that is going to be quarter three in 2025. So it is quite the wait. Um, that does sound like a year from now-ish. If not close to pretty much a little over a year. Um, what that's going to... I th Like having... having that to take that long I think will definitely warrant uh, some sort of like big big um, things for the players along the way I think though we are going to get animated shorts for sure there has to be animated shorts with UFO, UFO table animating the the stuff or um, the in-house um, Hoyo studio or whatever to um, animate the, uh, the things with Star Rail and Fate State characters. But I think when it comes to, well, of course, the gameplay content, we'll definitely get some sort of story quests out of it. Uh, basically, you know, while we're on the Express, right, the Galaxy Express, or what do you call it, we'll hit some sort of wormhole and then we'll get to uh, planet Earth or whatever the hell world will be. And that'll feature all the care, uh, pretty much like a lot of the characters for uh, Fate Stay and we'll have some sort of story out of it. And with that, there is probably going to be some sort of like limited time banner, and you'll definitely not want to miss that one for sure. If that is that is the case, that'll have to be where my um, top up bonus will go to, because um, definitely by then the top up bonus should refresh. So this is where my fun begins, right? Like, who are we gonna see? Who is gonna be pullable? Who is gonna be in the banner and stuff like that? Um, so, I think, for sure, one of them is going to be, um, Saber, aka Autorius, aka King Arthur, whatever. Saber, I think, is a must. Um, Ultimate, you know, um, Excalibur, no question, skill, probably some sort of a attack from Fate Grand Order, and then... You know, it's pretty simple. I think she'll be pretty straightforward. Um, she could either be some sort of like AOE or single target. So hunt, either hunt or erudition. Otherwise, um, Archer could be, I think definitely, he'll definitely can be um, an erudition character. He, he Or have some sort of follow-up. I think that'd be pretty cool. Um... 
since you know he has all those swords and whatever right especially with um unlimited blade works right that will be his ultimate of course skill will be something some generic thing um but but yeah i think archer will be the other five star character if we're gonna have one more five star um i would love to say cuckoo lane but maybe they'll have cuckoo lane be a four star as long as you get to see gay uh gay bulge or gay bulge <laughs> um i'll be cool with it you know funny that we already have something like that with uh shui yi's ultimate but i, I want to see my man my 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 guy cool cool lane he's so cool um i mean yeah hopefully he'll be a five star but uh if that's the case he'll definitely have to be um a hunt for sure um Oh yeah, uh, 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 Arturo could be a uh, destruction or erudition. And then Archer could be destruction, right? But yeah. Um It definitely ho uh, hopefully we can see like the rest of the characters like the uh, servants from Stay uh, Stay, uh, Stay Night like um Ryder uh, Berserker, aka Heracles or Hercules, um, Medusa for Rider, so on and so forth. Will we see Assassin? That's hard to say. Um, I forget his name in the show. I think it was like Sasaki or something. I, I forget. But uh, yeah, anyway, um, Assassin, right? He could be in there as an NPC or boss mini boss sub boss whatever i think the overarching like main villain definitely will have to be um gilgamesh i think that will be the other character too Gilga okay gilgamesh has to be either destruction or addition for sure he has to be aoe right probably coming out like the to be like the best character tier tier list wise of the fate stay bunch Force, just like in the show. He is very powerful. Um, but, yeah. Um, who else f appeared in Stay Night? I mean, I guess if it... Uh, well, no, it's Stay Night, so... Alter... Saber, Al Saber Alter appeared in Heaven's Feel. Which I need to watch that, actually. Anyway. Um, Heaven's Feel... I mean, it's all. I mean, it's all part of the, that umbrella, anyway. Like Stay Night, um, Unlimited Blade Works, and there's Heaven's Feel, right? Maybe they'll throw that in there, maybe. But yeah, um, Gilgamesh will definitely have to be either a boss or he's a playable character of sorts. That will definitely be uh, awesome, awesome. Uh, but Kotomine will be the other villain, though, for sure. He has to be. And then... Um, the other NPCs... Right. That'll be good guys. Will be uh, Sakura. Shiro. Rin. Of course they'll have to include... Uh, um, Ilya. Right. Talk to a Clara somehow. That'd be really funny. That'd be cool to have some sort of interaction between the two. Hmm. Trying to think if there's anything else. Um. Oh yeah. Uh, who was the asshole in that show? Um. What was his name? Uh, Sakura's brother quote unquote he's like uh let me see oh my god it should it should be around to my tongue but um shinji there you go shinji oh my god he's such a piece of shit shinji should also make an appearance though because of course it's face day night um anyone else 
Oof. Um. Oh, Caster. Yeah, of course. Who could forget Caster? Caster and then the uh, the teacher. That I forget. I, he's a little more harder to remember. Um. Caster and. Okay, I'm just gonna say Master. Soichiro, Soichiro Kuzuki. Yeah. Um, could also make an appearance as well. But yeah, that's like the 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 main appearances of the show. So, but I think I think for the, the just the fact that it this is happening though, I I hate to I hate to bring up that joke or meme again, but Genshin could never, dude. Genshin could never ever fucking do anything actually super cool. Except stay in their lane. You know, it's, um... It's just so strange, right? Of how much Genshin does not do. Like, the, t the free temple stuff. Or just rewards. The whole dark skin thing is like... That I mean that 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 definitely is on top of the fact, but just like the basic stuff, they just they 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 don't, they don't even do the basic stuff right for a gacha game that is. I mean, that's like, ah oh, man, it's so it's so weird of how much they don't do. Meanwhile, Star Rail and Zenless are like popping off quite. Um, popping off in their own way. Man, it's kind of weird, really. But anyway, cool, awesome. Uh, as I, I did watch Face Day Night uh, anime way back in the day. Uh, back in around the t early 2010s for sure. I forget the, the very first one. Did that come out like late 20s or tw uh, late 2020? No, 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 I'm sorry. Uh, late 2000s, excuse me. I'm getting that mixed up. I'm sorry. Um, late 2000s, I think so, with Studio Dean, like, animating the first one. That was like, man, that is something. But um, I'm glad that Youthful Table, like, kind of took over. But just, man, woo. Especially with Fate Zero. Man, that's like, that is a banger. And then, uh, of course, I gotta watch the rest of it with uh, Heaven's Feel. I gotta watch. Uh, I already. I, I watched part one. I gotta watch part two and three for Heaven's Feel. And then I haven't watched the rest of the Grand Grand Order stuff, so I gotta do that. So maybe I'll have some sort of a uh, fate binge um, till then, because we still we have quite a bit of time. So for those who do play Star Rail and have not um, gone into the fate series sort of rabbit hole i recommend you do it um i would probably do it um chronological or uh chronological order but really release order is not so bad because you get to see like the upgrade up um upgrade in um animation quality so i think it's uh doable either way watch it one way or the other right and i definitely look forward to it so hopefully it definitely is some sort of um something really cool right it's not just like some like oh it's just an anime or oh, oh it's just um i mean if they make a full-blown series out of it that'd be pretty cool i i kind of take that but having um units for it would be really sick too and if Grand Order brings in the Star Rail units in that game, I don't know. We'll see. But Face Day Night, man. I haven't heard that name in a long while. But I'm glad they did it because that was definitely my first um, going into it. And I've watched Unlimited Blade Works. That was really cool. I watched the move. Uh, I watched like there was like two versions, right, of Unlimited Blade Works. I think. Anyway. Um, that's essentially it on that. So. 
that was really cool, unexpected, and I look forward to it either way. And pray to God that it's not, you know, something like very underwhelming, like just merchandise or something that you're going to get in like Japan or something, or possibly even like China. But yeah. Having to wait that long though, I think there is something cooking up for sure. Something really cool. In the game. So, anyways, what do you guys think? Uh, are you looking forward to this collaboration with Star Rail and Face Ignite? Leave it down below in the comment section below. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps out, and I do appreciate it. So, this has my, I guess, Hawk Talks episode or whatever for the collaboration between Honkai Star Rail and Face Ignite. Great, both great series, I think, in their own right, especially with Face Ignite. And um, funny how they're kind of like coming in full circle because I used to play Grand Order and I'm currently on Star Rail. So it's almost like, oh, hello, old friend. You know, blah, blah, blah kind of thing. Um, you've only come, only for you to come back to me kind of thing, right? Anyway, so that's it on that. Thank you very much and hope to see you all in the next one. Sean out.